I spent four hundred dollars on apple pies. I got three apple pies, and we're gonna find out which apple pie is the best. We're gonna also find out if these apple pies were worth the price. There you go. First, we're gonna try apple pie baked in a paper bag by the elegant farmer. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> it's really apple pie in a bag, y'all. This ain't bad. I think I like this. So at all three of these pies, this one was the easiest to make, or warm up, I should say. All you're doing is taking apple pie in the bag, putting it on the baking tray, and putting it in the oven. That's it, for about an hour. So the pie crust on the top, man, you probably couldn't hear, but it is super crunchy. Also sweet. The filling, man, them apples are good. A good takeaway from these apples is, they're not all that sweet, but they really don't have to be because of the pie crust. Kind of takes care of the job, for real. This would be good with some ice cream. Ice cream. But the vanilla bean ice cream is taking this to another level, bro. This is good. This next one is called the Lord of the Pies Deep Dish Apple Pie from Emporium Pies. I mean, the crust is good. That's about it. This one right here gave me the most trouble. When you get the pie, you're supposed to let it set out for four to six hours. I did that. But in the midst of me doing it, I noticed the started separating, which made it hard for me to transfer it into a pan to put into the oven. You would think there would be some type of platform underneath to kind of hold everything together. It wasn't. Deep dish apple pie, 10 thinly sliced apples that are peeled, chopped, and soft baked into the apple pie. And on top, if you look closely, well, you really ain't gotta look closely, it's just right there. We have streusel. But well, first, we're gonna try the apples. <laughs> Man, hold on. Okay. I had to make sure I was eating apple pie. Now, how are you gonna send me an apple pie and the apples suck? The apples aren't sweet, they're not tart, they have absolutely no flavor to them. This is an embarrassment, Streusel. Got it. So basically, you have on the apples. I mean, you don't add no flavor to the apples at all. Not even a little bit. But you put all the cinnamon flavor, all the sweet to the Streusel. Which, I mean, some people may like it. That might be a thing. But to me, absolutely not and in my own opinion when it comes to apple pies the apples should be sweet they should be a little tart a little cinnamon flavor in that mob this was a complete dud not feeling this one at all and <laughs> complete waste of money now this next one looks like a, a complete a complete spaceship this is the levy high caramel pecan apple pie now how am i supposed to just gonna cut your ass right down the middle huh yeah this is the inside of the levy, the levy apple pie. Mmm, those apples. Yeah, those apples are good. So obviously this is a huge UFO looking apple pie and it can feed about, what, 10 to 12 people. The outer layer of the crust is caramel pecan. I made a mistake. I don't know why I put caramel pecan on the crust when this is clearly an apple pie competition, but it is what it is. I can still taste the inside of the crust though. And it's very good. It's doughy too. You remember when I said this thing was piled high with apples? This thing has a whopping 18 apples piled high all the way to the top. And the apples, they're not on no bullshit either. They're thinly sliced, got that hint of cinnamon flavor. Just the right amount of sweetness to it too. Also, these apples, fresh. I can taste the cinnamon, no doubt. And it also has a, a sweet, tart finish. If you like the caramel pecan it comes with, lather it on the top. You're gonna eat it just like a regular apple pie. The way I should've ate it, is leave it how it is. Find the bag, leave it high apple pie, load of the pies. 